I just read a news report of an 82 year old man who died after sustaining a head injury. He had this accident at a construction site where he was working as a construction worker. This man also had an undiagnosed heart condition which may have affected his sense of balance and he also was on prescription drugs which increased his fall risk. I know that uh, this is an accident you know but there are many questions which run through my mind. Why is an 82 year old man still working and mind you he is not working behind the desk doing some simple jobs. He is working in the construction industry. And why does he have an undiagnosed medical condition? You know, is this an odd case? I'm not so sure. Because I see a lot of older people out there and they are cleaning tables they at our hawker centers, at our food centers. I see people in their 70s and their 80s who are working as food delivery riders, risking their lives and their limbs. You know, so, and also, like in our walkabouts, we talk to people who are older, people who are in their 70s and their 80s, who tell us that they don't go for medical checkups because they are worried that if something goes wrong or if something is wrong with them, then they don't have the money for the treatment. Or And, and more than that, right, they're worried that they will become a burden for their children and for their families. You know, I think that is a very sad situation to be in. And while reading this news, I also read another piece of news which said that Singapore is the fourth richest city in the world. So can you imagine our older people, you know, our grandfathers and our, and our grandmothers, our mothers and our fathers are finding it difficult to live in a country which is the fourth richest city in the whole world. Why can't we give them a better peace of mind? Why can't we give them better assurances? Now, why can't the fourth richest city in the world have better retirement adequacy and even minimum wages? I think these are all important questions which we need to ask and which Red Dot United will continue to ask. I am Ravi Falama. I am the Secretary General of Red Dot United. Let me know what you guys think. Hello boys and girls, welcome to Ben Social Club. Hello, I'm City Boy and I hope all of you will give me your support by subscribing to Ben Social Club. Why? Because Ben Social Club is a platform for ordinary folks like us, all of us, so that our voices can be heard. Yeah, we may not be well spoken, but we speak from our our hearts. So let us all support YouTube channel Ben Social Club. Thank you.